What's up guys, welcome to a random main assembly video where I showcase one of the builds that I did as you guys know I do main assembly a lot and I'm more focused on the flying aspect of main assembly for some reason I cannot build cars to save my life uh, This is one of the latest projects that I've been working on still have a little bit to do but I'll upload it to the Steam Workshop soon uh, this is a self-balancing VTOL It has all the programming to level off itself and contract whatever you do in VTOL or in chat mode Took me a while to figure out the programming I, If you guys want me to make a tutorial video on how to program drones and stuff because it's basically using the same program um, programming for, that you'd use for a uh, if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, leave a comment down below. I'll show you guys how I did that. It took me like a week or so to figure out the programming for that. Um, this model is the one that I'm going to upload and probably update it whenever I jump back in and figure shit out. Yeah. This one has. Two separate groups of throttle, as you can see at the bottom there. One is jet power, which you control with shift and control. Uh, hover power, which is what you start off with, is O and L. And just shot up there. You can see it automatically pitched the front up, but then it decided to level itself off. Um, and there you go, 100% power on hover mode. Jet mode is at 0%, we can raise that up to like 40, 47, that's good. Uh, to switch, you press F. This power, the truss switches from hover mode power to the jet mode power. Uh, WSD is the controls for boat mode. And um, I can go up to 100% throttle. I should in fact put a speedometer in so that so I can know how fast it flies. Not about a... Yes. As you can see, I'll, I'll go to throttle and you can see it's leveling itself back off. So I do that. It's gonna level back off the relatively safe flying level. I do have a bladed version of this one, one that uses only propellers, but that one still needs a bit more work before I really start on this steam workshop. With the switching from jet to other mode, that still needs a bit of work. As you can see, it's fine decently well. Has some issues sometimes. And. Uh, the reason why I have the throttle separate is so that you can actually load on hover mode while still in jet mode. See for that that and then speed, which is like 42 is like landing hover. Let's think close here. And switch. There you go, it automatically switches over into our power. Well, it is actually too much to land, actually. But it is like stable. Pretty. And in our mode, the um. Jet engines only use like 0 0.15, 0 0.18 maximum of their throttle. So it doesn't go overboard, it only uses max of 0.18. Which you can fine tune based on the throttle up a little, that's too much. You do have controls in, let me throttle up a little so I can show you guys controls in. You do have controls in our mode. 
you just I uh, just have to figure out how to add here. Yeah, control some I just use the RCS roster as well. Yeah, you do have controls in other mode as you can see. Um let me know what you guys think of the build. Any suggestions on what I should build next? Uh I actually do these sorts of a build on my free time and for you guys who wondering how I just randomly release the main assembly, yeah I just decided to finally release this. Uh also about since this is gonna come out just after the last satisfactory video is supposed to come out. Uh yes. Uh satisfactory videos are going to most likely be rescheduled in the upcoming weeks. As you guys know I recently got a new job so yeah I have to fill my work schedule, recording schedule and stuff. But I'll let you guys know how that is going. I would still be live streaming on Twitch every now and again. Twitch.tv slash ashbowsgaming where you guys can check me out there when I live streams. Usually Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Sometimes I miss a stream but yeah. Most of the times I would stream on those days. Anyway, let me just... Uh, I'm going to do a quick flyby and land. Let me switch back to that mode. That was a bit of a joke there. So I'm using one gyro just in case some people was wondering what I'm using for the um, leveling system. I'm using one gyro, two sets of PIDs, but each PID, when I switch mode, it sends a signal to each PID to reset the other PID. So that doesn't continue receiving data from and resets back to peace oh so rough controls are very sensitive I'm gonna see how close I can get to the get low how close I can get to the hangars there and then I'm gonna come in for landing I'm um, coming up on this spot, I am going to go down to 32, which is the landing speed. And switch while I'm in mid roll. As you can see, it's corrected it. it um, roll there. And land. It doesn't have any landing legs or anything. It tried to add, but those scores um issues when it lands like that. Oops, wrong button. And since I'm here and it's actually leaning like that, I have no throttle on. It's gonna level itself up. Eventually. Sometime today. Anytime today. Yeah. I need to take off the level as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know.